Montreal, the Toronto of Canada. To find out how important young people are in this election, I've come here to speak with Philippe J. Fournier, the polling analyst who keeps successfully predicting Canadian elections. Philippe, why do you get to choose who wins the election? I don't choose anything. The data speaks for itself. How important are young people in this election? Well, they were very important four years ago, and it helped Justin Trudeau win the election in 2015. Will Maxime Bernier be able to reach young voters if he promises to show them a dead body? That would be a strange platform. So how do we encourage young people to vote? Well, we have to talk about their issues. HPV. Uh, um, <laughs> well, um, maybe to some extent. Their issues. But are politicians speaking to young people? I hit the streets to find out. So as the youngest and therefore most nubile candidate, do you feel connected to Andrew Scheer? No, not, not at all. <laughs> yeah. He's a boring person. So. <laughs> <laughs> the Liberal Party has introduced old age security benefits. Would that inform the way you would potentially vote at all? Uh, probably not, because I don't even know what it is. Out of the three leaders, who speaks to you the most? Um, none of them. Hmm. It seems the parties aren't giving young people a good reason to vote. But what should they be talking about? Stocks? Real estate tax incentives? What else is there? What issues are important to you? Environment. Environment. Yeah. My thing is like really the planet. The environment. It's the only issue. These selfish kids are obsessed with not dying in the apocalypse. But we'll never get climate action as long as parties target old bastards. Maybe the question isn't how do we get young people to vote, but how do we get old people to stop? Maybe you bribe them with hard candy. Maybe we say, if you know what it is to develop a photograph, you should not be voting. If you've ever called somebody like this, just go home. Maybe you give them all Cialis. They're not gonna be going out to polling stations when they're sex. I left Montreal feeling hopeful about young electors. When I was their age, all I cared about was getting to see a dead body. But kids today seem engaged, and I, for one, can't wait for them to see the dead body of our democracy. For The Beaverton, I'm Emma Hunter. The Beaverton Mocks the Vote, Friday, October 18th, only on CTV.